So hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Gary here, if it's your first time. What is going on? I'm super excited to do today's video. Let's just say, as you can tell by the title, Hennessy on my lips, take a little sip, and I'm seeing, I'm a mid shit whip. Okay. Okay, so as you know, yeah, it's on the new, let me get the bag, cause the bag is hella heavy. It's on the Sweetie Times Morphe collab. They sent this little cute backpack over, which is super, super cute when it's Morphe. Um, in here, okay, we have a fan, you know. We have the 24A Artist palette, you know. We also have, they sent some liners over by um, the brand Suva. I've never actually used any of their stuff, so which is super, super cute. And we've also used, actually, no, we haven't used. This is another um, liner by Suva. We have some brushes. What are these called? Six Backstage Babes brushes. And what else do we have in here? Oh my God, this is like a proper collection. So this is also her Icy Lips. Um, glasses which I'm super excited to use as well okay I think that's it and there's also some sunglasses in the icy chain but I'll show you those later but anyway this collection is supposed to be festival inspired there's Sweetie there if you guys don't know who Sweetie is she's a rapper she got kind of big off that song Icy which is the remix of Kia song was it Kia yeah and it's um Icy wifey haters wanna fight me that song and then people obviously knew her obviously when I think of Sweetie, I think of last year because I was rinsing her song, My Type, in every single Instagram story, every single dance move, every single whatever. I just love that song so much, even though she has a lot of remixes of other people's songs, but she, I think she's a really good rapper. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do think this collection was quite random because I don't know, it's just so bright and Sweetie is quite neutral, but obviously it's a festival collection and she looks super gorgeous here. Um, we're gonna be playing a lot with the palette. Let me show you the palette, which looks like this. How gorgeous is the palette though? We've got a mixture of um, pressed glitters and brights, and these are like new kind of like formulas. So this one's got like stars in it. And we've got like a neutral kind of moment up here. So if you do wanna have like a neutral kind of like moment, you can. It's a really big palette, it's actually really nice. It's not too big as well. Um, I'm gonna try and use the brushes, but you know sometimes with these brushes that come in the collections can be quite questionable. So anyway, if you wanna see how I get started, then keep on watching. Okay, so when it comes to looks, I'm not even sure what to do because this palette is super, super beautiful. I'm thinking to do something with the purple and the pink, maybe a bit of yellow. I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out. So I'm thinking probably purpley pink, just so, I don't know, I'm not sure. I think it's gonna make my eyes look really nice. Yeah, so this is gonna be quite freestyle, but let's just move because it is 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm filming because, you know, for obvious reasons, I can't sleep because I've been sleeping and drinking all day, so. I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Okay, so I've already done my brows using the Benefit Cabral, and I've also already primed as well. I'm actually gonna use Major Inspo, this shade, and Main Volume, maybe with a bit of Under the Sun, so just so you have the shades for reference. I'll also put them in the description bar below. So I'm trying to think how to do this. I'm using one of her brushes as well. Have you guys been anyway? I know it's kind of like, Ooh, these are pigmented. In my last video, I spoke about, you know, the virus, and I just feel like there's no need to speak about it again. Everyone knows what's going on, and I thought I would just wake up and do this video just so, you know, it's a distraction for me, and it'll probably be a distraction for you, but I just feel like I should pull up content. Um, I haven't mentioned that I was super, super ill for the past, actually, maybe since last Thursday, I was super, super ill, had a high fever, Coughing, um, I couldn't get out of bed, and because I live alone, I was just super scared. I, I had no paracetamol in, I wasn't prepared to be sick, it just got worse and worse. I do feel better now, but I've lost my sense of smell and taste, and obviously, that's one of the main signs of corona, which they say. But I do feel better, I'm, I'm just glad that it didn't hit me as it's hit other people. But it, it, I'm not sure what can happen, I still don't feel 100%, but it was just so scary. But it's one of those things where you just have to like, I don't know, be so careful guys and stay at home. But other than that, what are you guys been doing to chill? And what are you, been, are you guys with family members? Are you by yourself? Okay, so I'm literally gonna take the color main volume, which is that bright pink. I'm just gonna blend out the edges here. I don't normally do this kind of like stamp routine, but I think for these kind of colors, it looks really, really nice. And they're blending out super well. Like I'm super proud of Sweetie because not gonna lie, sometimes these female rappers don't really last that long because, you know, it's just the music industry. They kind of like, 
churn out a lot of rappers and then another one comes through but sweetie has made herself just kept herself relevant obviously i do hope she brings out new music that is obviously her own and i do really like her but i think it's quite cool she got a morphe collab because it's very different it's not like your typical beauty influencer and um if you have watched her vogue get ready with me it's so much fun this looks so pretty i'm just cleansing out the colors i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a cut crease i'm gonna attempt to do something quite scary actually but Boosh. I'm trying to think what concealer to use. I might use a concealer pop my lids, which is the Ebony Decay Naked um, Crepting Concealer at 70 MY. This is a really, really good concealer. It's got a nice wand as well. Do you guys know who Sweetie is? I feel like Sweetie is really big in the States. She was supposed to perform at Birmingham Pride actually next, no, in May. I was actually going to go there and see her, but I just feel like it's been postponed now because obviously, you know, the situation. But whatever, um, you guys have to let me know in the comments what content you want. I was going to do the pre-owned luxury bag one, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be good to do during this time. I'm not, I don't want to get dragged for trying to, you know, I just thought it would be quite good to see. And I was going to do an unboxing of like some boots, like the designer, but I'm not sure if that kind of content's really good in that time, do you think? But I think, why not? Like, obviously I'm not saying go and get it because the shops are closed, but I'm like, you know, I'm gonna show you what I got because I haven't even opened them and I feel like it would be a really cute unboxing. So let me guys know if you want that down below, but I'm literally gonna cut the crease using this flat Dior brush. So let me see, I'm really shy at cutting creases. Like I normally start there. I'm not good at cutting creases and everyone says always do look up trick, but I've got like kind of hooded eyes, so it doesn't really work for me, but I kind of go higher than my fold. I'm gonna bring it up. Yeah, you kind of like look up like that. And then you should really see the print really, but just follow the top like that. See, I'm kind of getting that shape. So guys, let's put on this liner by Suva called Dance Party. It was probably one of the most hardest liners I've ever gotten to use. First of all, I tried to apply it with a brush and then I had to wet it and then it looks okay. I'm gonna try and fix it, but I'm like, oh, I just ruined the eye, it's so annoying. I'm gonna try and do a lot of something certain because at the moment it's looking very, very mad. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and attempt to save this eye. I'm gonna go back into Max Volume, which is the pink we use in the crease. I'm using it, these brushes are quite good actually. I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because it's like almost 3 a.m. I mean, should have stamping that down. I'm trying to like go make the liner a bit thinner, but this liner just, I don't know if it's how I activated it, but it just wasn't working for me. Then it started crumbling. And then my eye is going a bit sore. I'm not sure if it's because of the liner. They're just making my eye a bit sore. I'm not sure if it's the pigment. Sometimes these pure pigments can make your eye quite sore. But also, guys, while I was ill, I was in bed for like three days, yeah. And I obviously had to watch Love is Blind because everyone gets speaking about it. And I started watching it and then I just thought, what the fuck is this shit? Like, how are you going into a pod saying, oh my God, like, you make me feel myself. Oh my God, like, I think I love you after three days like it's a bit crazy like i'm not gonna lie i love lauren and i love oh, what was the other couple that got married um barnett and what was her name olivia is it olivia what her name is whatever whoever barnett married she's annoying but they're really really sweet as a couple i really disliked jessica first of all sis was an alcoholic she was drinking from nine to five and plus i didn't like the way she kind of went on like what was his name mark Poor Mark with his five foot self. She was just stringing him along because she secretly wanted Barnett to love her, but Jessica was 34. She was a bad 34 because, sis, you're not a few, few years older than me and you look like that. It's a bit crazy, but she just drank too much. But I think when she watched it back, I did think the reunion was kind of dry. I'm not gonna lie. And I think the whole season, some episodes needed to be cut out because it was just too long. And Diamond, Diamond and Carlton, Colton, Colton, as soon as Colton walked into that house, I knew he was a sis because his attitude, it's in the eyes, not his dress sense. His dress sense was nice, but for a straight guy, it's kind of not loud, but you know, it was very just, I could tell he was like either bisexual or just gay. So I'm not really feeling this yellow bit here. It's really annoying me. It's just, I really wish I did it after, but I'm just gonna try and put some of that purple, which is called Major Inspo, just to blend out these corners. What else did I watch? I also watched the Gabriel Fernandez. Oh my God. Sorry to put this, uh, like the mood down, but that case was probably one of the worst cases I've ever watched ever. Like his mom was a monster. The guy, his stepdad was just evil. Both of them were so evil. I'm, like I was literally crying my eyes out at five o'clock in the morning because after I finished Love is Blind, that kind of like popped up and then I was like, oh, let me watch it because a few of my friends have been like, oh my God, it's such 
like a crazy documentary. So I watched it and I was just like, no, 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 no. Like that is crazy. Like it was probably, it was just so sad. I just can't believe anyone would even do that to like a young boy. It was just very, very disgusting. But if you guys have any Netflix recommendations, put them down below. Okay, so I had to go over that liner because it looked so crazy. That super one was just crumbling. I'm not sure what it was doing to my eye. My eyes got a bit watery. I'm just, the liner is just a no, no. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my liner and come back up on camera and then I'll show you because I like the way it looks without the liner because it's still giving me like, you know, Coachella sweetie buys, but the liner was just throwing me off. Like maybe I applied it wrong, but you know, let's just, you know, bring it back in and do a liner and see if we can resolve this eye somehow because I'm just like, do I start again? It's 3 a.m. or what? So guys, I put on some lashes and I added a bit of the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife liner. Not sure if I like that eyes. I should have just kept it pink. I don't know, it went funny over the shadow. These eyes have been a nightmare, but whatever we move. I still think it looks cute. It still looks presentable. I used my um, fellow Isla Squad lashes. Her name is Sabina Hanan. If you guys probably know her on the YouTube. Why is this not focusing? Yeah, there are the lashes there. And these are in, um, what are they called? The cord faux, no, <laughs> girl bust. And I think they're super, super cute like ooh, love them so what i'm gonna do obviously because this is like a, a mainly about sweetie and her um actually i was gonna use some of the glitters but the only thing is the glitters look the glitters look so chunky and i just feel like they look nice but look at that on my arm there they just, they just look a bit too chunky they look nice though but i'm just not sure obviously there's this one here which looks amazing so i've got proper stars and i just feel like they feel a bit sharp oh it looks really nice though on the arm super super pretty but i'm not sure i'm just not sure so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my skin off camera quickly we can come back and finish up the eye and see what we can do to like you know zhuzh it up. okay so the skin is done i put on double wear what i'm annoyed about is that some of that glitter swatch went on my face i'm not sure how it got there but I'm so pissed off, it's fine. Um, I've gotten double wear with Pat McGrath concealer and I just feel like it looks so good. I used the new um, Silk Canvas Primer and I watched Jackie Anna's video tonight, she had used it with double wear and it looks really good, like the best it's ever looked. So I'm gonna use Major Inspo, which is that purple. I was gonna use some of the pressed glitters, but I just feel like they're gonna be so messy, even though they are super, super pretty. So I'm gonna take some of this Major Inspo and run it under my lash line. This parrot's got a mirror, a mirror, by the way, which is super handy. I'm just gonna press that. So I'm gonna go underneath the eye with that shade called Max Volume. I'm just gonna blend it underneath. This is such a pretty shade, by the way. It's super, super cute. I cannot believe how late it is. It's so crazy. I'm gonna use these Marc Jacob pencils. I'm not sure if to do black or purple, but the purple one's quite nice. But I do purple, they're these kind of thin liners, but you gotta be careful with them if you wear contact lenses because they can break off in your eye, so. Cute. Okay, so the face is almost done. I'm gonna go in with this Nabla highlighter. I got it ages ago, it's called um, Lucent Jungle, and I just really, really like it. Even though it's very, very um, sheer, I really love the way it builds up, and it's super, super bronze, as you can tell. It's so nice. I feel like it really blends into my skin super well. I've never really used anything else from Nabla, but let me guys know if I should get anything else because it's subtle, but I just feel like it's so nice. But These eyes just took a moment. I'm just like, this is why I don't really wear bright colors and stuff, you know, because I haven't got time for all this kind of madness. <laughs> but I feel like they, they do look pretty though. They look really, really nice, but they look similar to, do you remember the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette? It's kind of similar colors to that, really. But um, they do, oh my God, I forgot it in a corner highlight. Okay, I'm gonna add one. Whoopsies. These brushes are really, really cute. I actually thought they were gonna be, you know, but they're actually really, really nice. So for my inner corner, I'm gonna use this um, shade called Secret Set with one here. I seen um, Lipstick Nick talk about it on her Instagram live. So I'm gonna try and put some in the corner, see how this looks. Ooh. That looks icy. Icy girl. I actually love it. Um, This looks bomb AF. Okay, so for the lips, I've already did um, BFF4 Color Pop and Natasha Denona in Yaya, Yana 3, 4, and P. Super nice. It's kind of like a dupe to the Gucci one I was talking about. So here are Sweetie's Icy Lips, which I'm gonna use. Shall I do the purple one's a bit mad? 
I'm not sure what the formula of these are. I might use this one. One's called B Boss Tycoon, the one's called Money Mummy. I might use Boss Tycoon because I want something a bit nude on the lips. Let's try it. Oh, oh my God, these feel amazing. Mmm, it's not too much to distract from the eyes, but these feel, oh my God, they're making my mouth water. Really, really nice. I really, really like this gloss, like, Oh, it's very juicy. So anyway, this is a finished look. What do you guys think? Like, I'm loving the eyes, even though it uh, kind of took long to like do. I really, really like them. Obviously it's now 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, Let's recap on some of the products that I loved. Okay, so guys, let's talk about the palette, which is the 24A Artist Sweetie Pass Palette. So this palette is beautiful. The pigment's definitely there, you can tell. I love the eye. Um, these colors performed really nicely. The glitters are, mm, I'm gonna have to give them a pass because I can tell they're a bit chunky for me and I probably wouldn't use them because I feel like glitter for me, as you can tell, it just goes everywhere and I'd rather use a loose glitter because I have more like, it's just not as chunky. These shades are amazing. This one is so good. Look how pretty pretty that is it's so damn pretty this one is also super super nice and this one is giving me like trophy wife vibes so so pretty as well and um, these shades i'd want to use them as well but i feel like i already have these shades in palettes anyway but um that's a press glitter as i can tell but i think this is quite nice i feel like if you want a palette where you have color and a bit of neutral this is quite nice because normally in color palettes you don't really have the um, option to have neutral so it is a really nice palette it also has a, a really big mirror as well which is super super good um i just feel like that I think now my foundation's on, I've got everything finished, it looks super pretty. The eyes look really nice, I really like it, it's really vibrant, it shows off my skin tone. I really, really like it and wow, these shades are amazing. I'm def I'll am i definitely use the palette again, but um, the glitters were a bit of a no for me. Um, The Suva liner, maybe I was using it wrong, if you have used it, let me know, but I feel like that's the whole thing that made me have problems, so I was just a bit annoyed. Oh, the lip glosses, these glosses are really, really nice, I'm really... um excited to try different formulas i used what color did i use i used bust tycoon and i really like it it's kind of like clear with like kind of like a silvery pinky pearl it's really 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 nice what do you guys think yeah okay i had to do a quick change for y'all also how cute is this little bag that morphe sent are we definitely rocking this in summer because Orange just goes so with my skin tone. I don't care if it says Morphe. Also, the brushes are really nice, guys. I'm really shoe sure. What brush? The highlight brush. They're really soft. Like, I'm actually sure the brushes worked really, really well. Um, let me guys know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want to see from me this week because because I missed last week's uploads, there are going to be more uploads this week. So um, let me guys know what you think of the look and I shall see you next week's video or well, this week's video. <laughs> Have a good week, guys, and stay positive and stay indoors. Bye.